This SKF training film is about spherical roller bearings with tapered bore. The spherical roller bearing with tapered bore consists of an inner ring with two raceways and two rows of spherical rollers in cages, a guide ring and an outer ring with a sphered raceway. This bearing is used where both static and dynamic misalignment capability is required and ease of mounting and dismounting is important. Spherical roller bearings with a tapered bore can be mounted on a shaft in a number of ways. The two most common methods are on a cylindrical shaft using an adapter or withdrawal sleeve. This example shows mounting and dismounting the bearing on an adapter sleeve. These spherical roller bearings are commonly used in applications like conveyor drives, bridges and cranes. To dismount a spherical roller bearing with a tapered ball, the lock washer tab is driven back and the lock nut loosened using a lock nut spanner. This application is designed to remove the bearing with a hydraulic nut. It requires a recessed collar between the bearing and the shaft shoulder. After reversing and mounting the hydraulic nut on the adapter sleeve, it's secured to the shaft with a lock nut. By pumping oil into the hydraulic nut, the adapter sleeve will be pushed back and the interference fit will be broken. After removing the hydraulic nut, the bearing can be easily dismounted. For the mounting of the spherical roller bearing with a tapered bore, an adapter sleeve can be used. Use some light oil on the mating surfaces. There are a number of methods that can be used to mount spherical roller bearings with a tapered bore. One of the most common methods for smaller bearings is the mechanical drive up using the adapter sleeve nut. After positioning the adapter sleeve on the shaft, unwrap the bearing from its protective package and place it on the sleeve. screw on the lock nut. Make an initial internal clearance check using feeler gauges. Make sure that the clearance check is performed in the unloaded zone of the bearing. By mechanical means the bearing is driven up the adapter sleeve. By regularly checking the residual clearance with the feeler gauges and making reference to the SKF drive up tables the correct drive up can be achieved. After the correct clearance has been obtained, remove the nut. Fit the lock washer and replace the lock nut. By tightening the nut and securing the lock washer tab, the final mounting of the spherical roller bearing is achieved.
A more accurate method for adjusting spherical roller bearings on tapered seatings is the new SRB drive-up method, developed by SKF. This method uses a modified hydraulic nut with a dial indicator and a specially calibrated hydraulic oil pressure gauge and pump. It must be used in conjunction with SKF tables. The hydraulic nut is pressurized to the initial values as found in the SKF tables. The dial indicator is set to zero and the bearing is then driven further up the sleeve to the correct distance measured by the dial indicator. At this point, the bearing is correctly mounted. Remove the hydraulic nut, fit the lock washer and screw on the lock nut. After tightening the lock nut and securing the lock washer tab, the mounting of the spherical roller bearing with a tapered bore is achieved. The spherical roller bearing with a tapered bore is supplied with a predetermined amount of radial internal clearance. When the bearing is driven up its mating shaft seating, take care not to remove all of the internal clearance by driving it up too far because this will impair the performance of the bearing and dramatically reduce its life.